I'm Evander da Silva Ferreira. Actually, my father had uh, chose my name. The fight between Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson, and Evander Holyfield won the fight and then chose my name as Evander. It's a warrior, you know? <laughs> I was born with this passion, you know, for football. I was been dreaming to be a football player, so it's something that that I can't explain, you know. When I was just a little boy, I was playing with my friends at the street, but you know, during we were playing, there was a lot of cars coming, and then my father would say that I only could play on the side of the street, on the sidewalk, you know, <laughs> because of the car, so it was dangerous. It just trying to save my life, you know. <laughs> I think not only me, but a lot of Brazilian players, they, they've been growing up just playing football in the street. And this is look like gives you more technique, more, more chemistry with the ball, you know? I think that's why the Brazilian players are different. Well, my father was a football player and I was home just, you know, pissing him off so he, can, he could play with me. You know, he started my career in high school, you know, a lot of good memories. E aqui, aqui é, no futsal, para todos os jogadores é a base, pra, sempre foi a base, né? Raciocínio rápido, habilidade, chute, já é, taticamente tem que saber né, jogar. Taticamente, é, troca de posição, troca de posição. É, aprende tudo, né? O futsal é, é, é onde todo mundo começa, inicia, né? Também dá... Da pressão, né? Da, da torcida. torcida é. A pressão já começa em casa, com o pai, com a mãe, né? E vem aqui para a arquibancada. Fica todo mundo muito em cima, né? E isso já vai dando uma, uma base para o jogador, né? Quando chega no campo com torcida, no futsal, foi muito legal. Eu tenho mais louco que o <risos> Verdade, muito legal. You know, uh, during the, the academy career, it was like. You know, I was doing good. I think my father saw some potential on me. And of course, uh, the things that I was doing and on the court and also on the field, playing well and scoring a lot of goals, some good technique with the ball and, okay, maybe it's time to take this more serious. When you're, you're born in Brazil and then you want to become a professional player, it's like, like a long journey because you see a lot of players just, you know, stopping during the journey and then they got no opportunity. And then when you, you become a professional player, you make your first game as a professional player. You know, it's like, okay, I achieved something. But and then when you think you're, you're done, it's just the beginning. Você assinou com 16 anos, né? Depois que a gente veio da, é, depois que a gente veio da seleção, é, eles chamaram para assinar e acho que tu estreou com 16 para 17 anos no profissional. Foi anos de sacrifício aqui, né? De luta, mas foi, foi legal. Tu ficava ali da arquibancada <risos> <risos> com o moleque aqui vendo os caras do profissional, né? Em pouco tempo estava aqui dentro do campo é, treinando, com os caras. treinando com os caras, jogando, né? A gente saiu daqui e hoje está voltando aqui. Uhum. É uma história legal e, e ainda não acabou, né? Tem muita coisa pela frente ainda. Tem. I think yeah, he's he's so proud now. He's always said to me that I've done so much more than him than his whole career and of course playing national team in academy and now achieving a lot of things as a professional footballer. So I'm also proud of myself. It's it's not easy to to, to hit this level, but I'm also excited to, to do more. Acho que ir pra, pra Europa e pra Dinamarca foi uma oportunidade de, de, de buscar também, tipo, além do futebol, mostrar também e estar tá mais perto né, do, da elite, né, do, onde que tá toda. É, na realidade, é, 
apareceu essa oportunidade para a Dinamarca, né? E eu vi, eu vi que você estaria muito mais perto do, dos grandes centros, né? Que é a Espanha, a Alemanha, a Inglaterra, e por isso que a gente fez a opção de ir para a Dinamarca, porque eu sabia que onde você jogasse na Europa, você ia fazer sucesso, né? E como foi, entendeu? Acho que, enfim, vou levar tudo que eu aprendi durante esse tempo, desde o Vasco, passando pelo Michelin também, experiência de jogar Champions League, Europa League, grandes competições, tudo aprendizado, enfim, agora é tudo botar em prática lá no Porsche. Né? É, a gente vê a MLS é, como também um grande centro, né? A próxima Copa do Mundo, Estados Unidos, Canadá, México, tem grandes jogadores na MLS, grandes jogadores. Então a gente está indo com uma perspectiva muito, muito grande de fazer muito sucesso lá. You know, Brazil has a lot of talent and made a lot of big players. I was growing up watching Ronaldinho Gaúcho, Ronaldo, uh, Rivaldo. You know, I was the dream to be like them, so that's what I'm going for. I know it's a hard league, it's a very competitive league. I know that the, the fans are, they, they have this passion as well, you know. And of course, it's a big club, a club that already won the MLS. And I'm just joining the club to, to give them more and more trophies.